Hey there! Welcome to our multilingual SEO tutorial. This is the process of optimizing content for search engines in different languages. In order to maximize your site's visibility, it's important to carry this out for each language it appears in. If this sounds like an overwhelming undertaking, don't fret. With Translate Press and our SEO Pack add-on, you can easily optimize your WordPress site using a visual editor. It even integrates with popular SEO plugins such as Yoast. To add Translate Press and the SEO Pack to your site, navigate to Plugins, Add New in your WordPress dashboard and click on Upload Plugin. Then you can select the zip files for Translate Press and the SEO Pack, which you should have received when you completed your purchase. Activate the plugins, then enter your license key on the settings page. Now let's dive into our multilingual SEO tips. The first element we'll discuss is your website's URLs. Google recommends that you structure your website so that each language has its own subdirectory. This will result in a URL structure like that of Apple's, where the primary domain is followed by ES for Spanish. TranslatePress automatically saves your translations and subdirectories, so if you've translated your WordPress site using our plugin, there's nothing drastic you need to do on this front. If you want to change the URLs for the translated versions of your site, you can edit the slugs by going to Settings, Translate Press. You'll find the slugs listed right next to each of your available languages. However, you can also translate your URL slugs for specific posts and pages. To do so, click on Translate Page in the admin bar, then select the String Translation option. Here you can translate your taxonomy slugs, term slugs, post slugs, and post type base slugs. For now, we'll just translate this post slug as an example. Click on Edit below the title, then translate the string in the sidebar to the left. Make sure to click on Save Translation when you're done. Another key multilingual SEO strategy is incorporating hreflang tags. These are HTML tags you can incorporate in your site's header to tell search engines what languages your site is available in. Once again, TranslatePress adds these to your site automatically, so you don't have to take any further action if you've used our plugin to translate your site. Now that you have a lot of the technical aspects of multilingual SEO out of the way, you can start optimizing post metadata. This includes your SEO titles, meta descriptions, image alt text, and more. The easiest way to edit this information is with the help of an SEO plugin. TranslatePress is compatible with four of the most popular, Yoast, Rank Math, SEO Press, and All-in-One SEO. We'll demonstrate with Yoast. To edit your SEO metadata, navigate to the page or post you want to optimize and click on Translate Page in the admin bar. In the sidebar to the left, click on the drop-down menu labeled Select String to Translate. Under Meta Information, you can edit the post's SEO title and meta description. Translate them as needed, then save your changes. To edit your alt text, open the same drop-down menu and scroll down to Images. Select the file name for the one whose alt text you want to translate, enter it in your target language in the relevant field, and save your changes. The last multilingual SEO technique we'll demonstrate for you in this video is generating multilingual sitemaps. A sitemap tells search engines how your content is structured so they can better understand the relationships between your posts and pages. Most SEO plugins create a sitemap for you. When you install the SEO pack add-on for TranslatePress, it will automatically make your sitemap multilingual. If you open it, you should be able to see your multilingual content listed. If you download the XML file, you'll also be able to find relevant hreflang tags in it. That's all for our multilingual SEO tutorial. Want to learn more about translating your WordPress site? Check out our documentation! Until next time, thanks for watching!